how to use inventory in QuickBooks. Set up, edit, and add inventory in QuickBooks. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can manage your inventory on QuickBooks. So let's get into it. Now to get started, you have to go into your accountant view on QuickBooks. Now it should look like this over here. And if it doesn't look like this, that probably means you're in your business manager. So to go into your accountant view, click on the settings icon on the top right, which is this gear icon. And then you can click on switch to the accountant view. And if you are on the business view, it will show you this option like this. And then you can just switch back to your business or accountant view. Now, once you are on the accountant view over here, then you're going to go into inventory. Now, a lot of people go to the left panel and they try to find inventory. And you might wonder, hey, where is inventory? Well, inventory is actually under product and products are under sales. So on your left panel, open up the menu section. In your menu section, go down and you will see sales. In your sales, you're going to click on products and services. And from here, you can actually manage inventory in QuickBooks. So in QuickBooks, there are two types of products or services you might provide, and you might want to track inventory only for products. Obviously, services don't have inventories, but still, you're going to click on add a product or service over here, and you can add products you buy or sell, but don't need to track, or you can add services over here. So I can click on, let's say these are non-inventory products, and then I'll just add a name, or you can even change the type. I'll add a service first. So this is eyelash extension, and then this is going to be the service name. These are going to be grooming services like this. And then you're going to add a category, and below that you're going to add a description. So our description can be whatever is our description, we can add that. And then add our sales price and you're going to add the income account so if this is from a service if this is uncategorized income if this is going to be from cost of sales expenses or other incomes now for us this is going to be a our service based income so i'm going to scroll down and go into income and in our income, I'm going to add this as a service. Then I purchase, uh, I don't purchase this product, so I'll just click on save and close. Refresh this to be able to add our item. Now, in this way, we can start adding our products and services and manage the inventories of our product. Now, to add a product, just click on add a product. And you might wonder, hey, it's a service over here. How am I supposed to add products? Because either you have non-inventory products or you have services. Well, you're going to click on services and you're going to enter the type of product it is. Just enter the product name. For example, let's say this is nail polish. Okay. And let's say the SQ0023. Then we're going to add a category, which is going to be our nail polish category. Then after that, you're going to add a description and you have a sale price and then you have a income account. So click on the income account over here. Once you click on your income account, you're going to scroll up and you have cash to cash equivalent, allowance for bad debt, you have current assets or inventory. So click on inventory over here and then after that, you're going to add your purchasing info. When you add your purchasing info, you can add the cost as well as the expense account that this particular product comes from. And you can also set up your supplier. Once this has been completed, you can click on save and close to complete your setup. And then you will have all of your products and services and their inventories listed directly under sales. Now, this is not it within QuickBooks. Another way to manage your inventories on QuickBooks is actually by going into the top right settings. Now, once you go into your top right settings, you can click on products and services directly from there to be able to access your sales section. 
Now, in your basic dashboard on QuickBooks, you can also further customize your view or your layout to include or to remove certain elements. So if there are items that are not necessary for you, you can remove those as well. Now, another very important thing is to make sure that whenever you are going to be managing your products and services, if you're already selling them online, you are going to link them from there over, you know, there as well. So for example, if you're using a third party application, you can go into find apps and you will see there are many different apps available that can help you in adding or linking to eBay, Shopify, Amazon, whatever platform you are using and you can directly import your inventories over here. So instead of having to open up QuickBooks and manually changing your inventories every day, depending on how many sales you're getting, instead you can manage your inventories simply by clicking on these applications, click on the app that you need. So if I want to sync up my Shopify inventories over here, I can go with the Shopify connector, click on get app now, and this will open up the QuickBooks app store. And from there, I can install this application within QuickBooks. Now in QuickBooks, you also have the option to manage your expenses and suppliers all together. So with inventory management, obviously you're getting your inventory from a supplier. So you're going to go into expenses, then go to suppliers, then you can click on add supplier manually to add a supplier. Within every supplier, they can be providing you with multiple different inventory items, or they could be providing you with singular items as well. So you can choose to insert what type of items each supplier is providing. You also have customer and leads sections, which allow you to market your products and services. And that is how you can do some of your major or key components of managing your business with the QuickBooks accounting software. Now, QuickBooks currently has a deal where you can get one month for $1. And that is a great deal that you can currently avail with QuickBooks. Plus, QuickBooks also allows you to manage bank transactions, reconcile your statements, set up rules, charts of accounts, as well as set up recurring transactions. And you can also set up payroll for your employees directly on QuickBooks by simply adding your employees and setting up hiring details and payment info. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to better understand QuickBooks and how to use inventory management in QuickBooks. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to answer and get back to you guys and I will catch you guys in the next video.